There's no shortage of video editing tools and platforms out there, and it can be a bit of a challenge to jump in and figure out which tool can save you time and be the most effective for what you want to accomplish. In this video, I wanna break down the tools I use to create videos for my clients and for my own business. If you've been trying to figure out where to start, this could be a path you try. There are plenty of options out there, and honestly, the right option is the one that is easy for you to use. People do have a tendency to focus so much on the technology, they fail to create videos, and that's what I want to avoid. But I know people also like to get recommendations, so this is my solution. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cheryl Tan, the founder of Master Video Today. It's a community that offers training, accountability, and support for your marketing teams. Subscribe to this channel for weekly video strategies you can use in your business. What are your favorite video editing tools and platforms? I do like to try out new software, once in a while to see if there's something more effective out there. So I'd love to hear what you're using right now. For my equipment, I just use an iPhone. I'm looking at getting a standalone camera, but I'm not really in a hurry. For videos on social media, I really like having the ability to upload clips from my phone. Again, the focus on simplicity. The simplicity allows me to be more consistent. I encourage batch shooting. When I work with clients, I push them to sit down and create several videos at one time. That way they're doing all the shooting, all the uploading, all the editing in concentrated spurts of time. As for video editing, I use WeVideo. It's an online editing platform. I love the fact that videos are stored in the cloud. I can shoot videos on my phone, upload the clips to WeVideo, and then edit on my laptop. Everything in the cloud. So for someone like me who seems to never have enough space on my hard drive, this is really good news. From the dashboard, you can share your videos to a number of social media platforms. All of it happening in the cloud, and the video itself doesn't have to be downloaded and take up space on the hard drive. I have a whole other video where I walk through simple video editing in WeVideo. This is why I use it with my clients. It's because I can shoot a video with my phone, upload it to the WeVideo app on my phone, the clip is then pulled into the cloud, and I can edit the video on my laptop. If my clients shoot videos on their own devices, they can send me a video through Dropbox, and I can import the clip from Dropbox and into WeVideo. Again, it bypasses the hard drive of my computer, this is a theme, you can probably tell. You may be thinking, why not just use iMovie on your iPhone? I do use iMovie sometimes. It's definitely an easy option because it's free on iPhones, but sometimes you need a little more functionality, which is why I turn to WeVideo. While I use iMovie on my iPhone for some very simple edits, sometimes you need to include things like animation, graphics, pictures, and other video for B-roll. When you're working with a lot of moving pieces, it's easier to have the ability to add more video or even audio tracks, and it's much easier to do that on a laptop or desktop. That's what I use WeVideo for. If I wanted something with even better editing capabilities, something more high-end in terms of effects and animations, I would go with Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, but I don't really need that for what I'm creating right now. Again, I'm just going the very simple route that gets the job done. I often get questions from Android users. WeVideo works with Androids, and what I mean by that is you can download the app, then upload the clips from your Android phone. You would still edit on the WeVideo platform on your laptop or desktop. If you're looking for a video editing app for your Android phone, I would suggest InShot. If you're looking for something simple that does a lot with graphics, text, and gives you different sizes for your video, this is a great app you can download and try out for free. It works on both Androids and iPhones. Of course, there is also a paid version of InShot. I'll put information on all the software in the description below. I hope you enjoyed learning about the simple process that works right now for me and my clients. If you're ready to create videos and want some ideas on what to say, watch this next.